My name's Graham Parker and this is the Hoof GP YouTube channel. In this video, I'm probably going to attract some hate, but it's not intentional. Here are my views on why I prefer to use an upright chute versus a layover, the ones that lie them on the side. This is an upright shoot. That much is obvious. Hold on, this is quite difficult for you guys to watch, isn't it? When something is in the wrong orientation, it's really difficult to concentrate on and focus properly. Let's get it turned around the right way. Upright shoots have many attributes that maybe other shoots don't have. For instance, they don't need as big a space to be able to get into because they don't need to fold over one way or the other. I'm gonna run through some of the properties about this shoot which I absolutely love. Others might disagree, but that is their opinion and they're entitled to it, just like I'm entitled to mine. Firstly, and most importantly for me perhaps, is that all four feet are perpendicular to our line of sight. They're square on, we're looking at them straight down. But more importantly than that perhaps, is that they're all at the same angle. We don't need to adjust our way of thinking and our method of trimming for each individual foot. Everyone is sitting at exactly the same angle, in exactly the same orientation, every single time. Upright shoots are completely capable of having all four feet up in the air at one time, with the animal completely comfortable, just as we're demonstrating right now. It's completely safe for me to work on the back feet while Craig works on the front feet and there's no danger whatsoever of the chips or hoof shards hitting me in the face while he's trimming. As you can see, the cow is completely happy and comfortable with her feet lifted up in the air in this way. We've trimmed just under 16,000 head of cattle this year through this shoot alone and we've never once had an injury of any sort. So upright shoots are incredibly safe for the animals. That being said though, we usually do only lift one back foot at a time and as soon as we finish them, we place them back on the ground so the cow can feel terra firma under her hoofs. We close the back door and move on to the front half of the cow. And again, no matter what foot I'm working on and the other trimmer's working on, there's no danger whatsoever of the chips from my grinder hitting him in the face. So you see two trimmers can trim on the same crush at the same time on the same cow and if one trimmer has a problem, I'm not hitting him with chips, I can still do the other three without him being in my way and it just works out well. Modern upright shoots provide 360 degree access to all of the cow's hooves, so no matter what the problem is, we are able to access it and treat it. There are no drawbacks to having a cow's foot in this position. You can even trim the dorsal wall when they have proper toe necrosis and you need to get right in about that foot, 360 degrees. Beautiful. And then once she's done, we can set her foot down on the ground and make sure that she is perfectly balanced and that leg's nice and straight. So when we place the foot down on the ground, we can see if it's perfectly level and balanced, which this one is. But if it wasn't, we could easily just pick it back up, make a small adjustment and drop it again, just like that. Only one foot needed to be lifted. When a cow goes into an upright shoot, she goes in upright and she stays upright. There is no forced lateral movement whatsoever. She's in a completely natural position. I'm not saying that cows shouldn't lie on their sides and they definitely do on their own accord sometimes, but it is definitely a more natural position for them to be standing upright, especially when we consider them coming back down. I know my farmers and I would worry about unborn calves and twisted stomachs and cows that are being thrown onto the sides and then put back upright, especially when their legs are landing and there's no risk in an upright shoot from a leg being trapped as it lands back down because they're landing back down in a completely natural way. 
We can and do sometimes trim up to 26 or 27 cows per hour, but it's not about speed for us. It is there if you need it. Upright shoots can be very fast, but we usually like to trim around 20 cows an hour, and there's no problem doing that in an upright shoot. Layover shoots have the advantage with speed usually because you don't need to walk around about the cow. But for me, it's all about precision and making sure the cow is as comfortable as possible at all times, and we're as safe as we can be. This clip is clearly sped up, but today we were trimming a cow roughly every two and a half minutes. But speed doesn't really matter. Business wise, obviously it does, but the priority for us is cow comfort and accuracy of trimming. You see, we can actually be quick when we want to be. Anyway, onwards. And in uprights like this, it's still a completely clear way out, so the cow flow is excellent. <laughs> For me personally, an upright shoot is the way forward. I absolutely love mine and I'll never change it for the world. I really do love it. The comfort this shoot gives to the cows is phenomenal. The access to the foot is absolutely perfect and the fact that it presents all four feet in exactly the same way is absolutely crucial for me. The comfort of the cows and the accuracy of the trim is what really matters for me, for my farmers and for the cows. Being able to put a hoof which you've just trimmed back on the ground so that you can clearly evaluate how much you've improved the angle of that hoof and the shin bone is absolutely huge. It is one of the major advantages I feel an upright shoot has. These are my opinions, your opinions may differ and your shoot may be perfect for you. But for anybody starting out, personally, I would always recommend an upright shoot because of all the different advantages I've laid out in this video. We may never know the true answer to which came first, the chicken or the egg, which is better, the layover or the upright, but hopefully this video has given you an insight into the world of upright shoots. Remember guys, I really mean this. These are my opinions within this video because it's my channel, so I'm gonna give you my opinions. If you are a rollover guy or a layover guy, then send me a video of your facts, your knowledge and your insights into why you prefer to use a rollover or a layover crush. And I promise I will publish the video. Cheers for watching guys, goodbye.